in this video number 9, we will apply the wind loads in frame CE. I will go back to design criteria and let's say this is our wind load. So, let's say we have 250 km per hour and exposure category is C. Then the occupancy category is standard occupancy. So, the importance factor is 1.0. Okay, so we will go to uh, in ACP, there is a provisions there, and you can also do the manual calculations or you can do uh, the calculations of this if you have another structure to do or for simplicity or for verification of the software forces you can you can do it okay so we'll go back to frame ce so suppose we have this model so i will just go to loads and go to wind load so under this wind load tab we have here new so meaning we will define our wind load case because we only have gravity load case and earthquake load cases now we will define or we will add a new so i will just click this one left click and let's say i will just select this um, the location so for example i have here uh, we are dealing with the locations in Cavite, Cavite City. So let's say this one. So if you select this location, so the velocity uh, don't yet have the value. So we will go here. So we have occupancy category. standard occupancy or 1.0 okay so that is uh, category 3 we will go back to the uh, NACP to I think that is from the video number 1 to verify this value okay so we have KCT and 3 or 4, that is 3 or 4. So, the value of importance factor here is 1.0 for 3 and 4. So, let's say 4. Or I will just go back to the first slide. Okay, that is standard occupancy under this. So I think that put it here in the design criteria. So anyway, this is uh, three or four. Okay. So next is select node. So all of the nodes here are in the base. Then the mean rope height, uh, the mean rope height is the uh, distance of this. Let's say this is your roof, and this is your upper roof. So the mid height of this, of upper roof and roof, or for example, you have this uh, elevation, this value. The mean rope height is the, let's say this one, we are dealing with this distance or this height. So half of this, uh, this is apex and this is the rope level. Okay. So I will just get the, the one half of that value 
Okay, so for now, I will just uh, cancel it to measure the that value. Okay, that value is I will, uh, to be able to measure that, I will go to nodes and node distance. Okay, we will just click this one up to this one up to this node and that is 8.4 so 8.4 and the half of this node left click left click so that is 0.9 so plus let's say 0 0.45 8.4 so we have 8.95 meter so i will go back to loads new and let's say this one and say so we have here 250 kph so we can also uh, rename the or we can also modify this value okay and say this is 8.95 95 so all of these joints this is located at the base so any any number uh, is okay to use because uh, this is just to to locate the the height or the, the the height of the structure or the base node base okay then uh, exposure category is C and this is uh, enclosed building and let's say this is wind X or WX or let's say wind X then I will just click this one uh, first click before we are dealing with a uh, along X uh, pressure or this is then I will I will just uh, select this one okay so the wind will so in this case I will just select this because this is the projection area okay Then I will just click this one and also this is the projection area along X axis then I will just click OK so it uh, produce calculations you will say yes then I will just click OK and the uh, frame C it will give you manual calculation report I will just uh, wait for some time for the prime CE to do the manual calculation report okay so this is the wind load calculations so I can uh, this is the file path so I will just copy this and I will send it to those who will avail this um, ma uh, material so this is wind load calc and 1103 so this is it I will just copy this one and put it to my calculation report so let's say I will just paste it here or I will make another folder uh, analysis report so paste so this is the wind load calculations then this is your this is how, how to get the nodal point loads 
Okay, I will go back to print CE. And this is the wind load generated at every joint. Okay, so the, the software or let's say other software, how to do this is as I explain here in the in this part so we, you, we have this uh, most of all the software is like like this for the building design so you have here wind pressure so this is this will, this will be converted to joint load so we have here wind and the projection area is let's say b times height and you will get uh, this pressure let's say 250 or there is a um, calculations there the generated by frame CE you can get it to NACP or ASC 7-10 this, this formula and let's say you have at that projection area you have 1.36 kPa and the tributary area projection is 19.2 so it will be multiplied and this is your wind load in kilonewton and the joints it will be distributed to the joints let's say if you have four joints it will be divided by four okay so that, that that's it uh if you if, if you want to compute the wall pressure so we have the formula here in this reference so you have to do the interpolation you have to read this this notes okay so we'll go back to frame ce to define for the wind load global uh, z direction okay so wind x windward so this is for the windward okay leeward and side wall so we'll go uh, we will define this another wind load case along z direction so over, we are dealing with this direction okay for the windward so i will just go to new this one so new and let's say i will just click this one or or this one then this is the value next is main roof height is let's say 8.95 and the exposure is c then i will just click this i will just click it first to locate the the windward along z axis so that one next is let's say this is wind z direction then enclosure is uh, enclosed next i will uh, select this one okay so this one and this one so that that uh, we have to disable the diaphragm action to be able uh, before we do the defining of wind pressure so in this case I will not uh, do it again okay uh, if we if we disable the diaphragm action of this lab this uh, cross bracing will be disabled or the diaphragm action representation will be disabled okay so i will just clip the produce calculation yes so i will just click ok close this one okay. And I will wait for the manual calculations by frame C. Okay, so this is the wind calculations, wind say direction.
then uh, this is located here control C and I will get that this one so 11 10 p.m. so I will just uh, rename that one for Z direction and I will copy it to my analysis report so this one is a long X so I have now the report for the okay close this one and I will go back to frame C so in this case as you can see this arrow or this load is considered along Z axis so this is the windward in this wind Z loadings and this is the suck so, uh, this is the pressure along uh, I mean this is the leeward and this is the side wall so meaning the direction of the forces is correct I will go back to wind X so wind X so this is the leeward uh, the windward part windward and this is the leeward and this is the side wall so meaning our applications or our definition of wind load is correct so next we will do the load combinations for the next video okay I will just save this one Thank you. 